Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Warno. This is probably the final one of my 1v1 versus AI uh, as I learn the game. This is the 39th guards that I am playing with against the Territorial Commando. Battle is too late. And as I said, this should be the final installment of essentially me learning to play the game. Uh, it's not the fourth game that I've played, but sort of the fourth game that I'm going to cast, showing off, uh, you know, me, me growing and learning. So the enemy is pushing into, what is this, Oscar? And then they've taken Lima, and we have Zulu. I am slowly but surely grabbing Alpha and X-Ray, but I think my pathing on my BMPs is pretty bad. We'll see. I do manage to get here before their Fleeker Fausts, and I believe we have RPG-22s. They probably didn't get into range, but at least pushing their Fleeker Fausts back. M48 is pushing up. Not a huge deal, but I am trying to get a Conquerors in these woods. Did actually manage to push back their attack over here. And then uh, their Mirage won the duel over there against my SU-27. But trying to take trying to take the town, trying to take Oscar would be absolutely great. I did get my Conquerors set up in time. And that BTR-60 actually doing a great job of taking those Fliegerfaust out. So that's, that's really good. Moving a line up. You know, this is this is one of those things that you you try to learn the map. Good hit on the M48 over there. I, I was trying to take the center there because these two buildings here seem really really good. Got my uh, Sturm S's up. I really like ATGM vehicles. Now they don't have the greatest. Well, these ones might. I don't. I can't remember if they do or don't. They don't have the greatest stealth all the time. Now this is a pretty big push by the AI over here. And I don't really have the forces to defend against it. So we'll see what the AI is capable of doing. I know I am trying to move up reinforcements over here. Looks like I've got a AT Pind moving up. I mean, if we can get shot stuff on those M48s, that'll do fantastic. Because they just have this 20mm Vulcan for AH. You know, that can do damage, but it's not the best. Now, unfortunately, they are methodically taking out my troops. Hopefully, this BMP is just going here and hiding. That would be the best way to do it. We are on a plus three. The AI doing a terrible job of securing its zones. Uh, they should have this one secured by now, but they don't. Um, and this conquers doing a phenomenal job. That was devastating, though. That that 155 early taking out my conquers, pretty bad. Hopefully, my hind can do some work over there. I did take out the Vulcan, which then makes it to where the hind can, you know, should have free reign on these M48s. We'll see. I do have RPG 22s. At short range against M48 should do pretty well. I I don't necessarily like these guys. I, I kind of want all of my recon to have RPG 22s or something like that. That artillery is going to absolutely blast me. That's uh this artillery piece, I mean, it, taking that conquers out over there is a really big deal. So pretty nasty on their part, but Bigger, uh, little lull in the battle. Well, not really a lull, but go over a couple things. I have been playing a lot of multiplayer battles with other people. Uh, one of them being Koch, and then new on my server, I believe you would say it's Sp uh, Spax or S P A A X. Uh, I'll ask him next time he's on Discord how he wants me to refer to him. And then Koch's friends, uh, Thoughtful Frack, Elric. And uh, the average Warno player. So I've been playing games with those guys. Been having a ton of fun. Multiplayer is definitely the way to go. Uh, 1v1 is something that I'll get into. But not 
you know, it's not the big priority over here. MI-24 eating some Flagerfausteds. These Sturms in great positions. This Igla uh, also in a good position. Logistics up, Strela up. Now, the problem is the town itself over here, although there's some mutual destruction going on. Now, getting this Conquerors over here is really, really strong. Hopefully, I mean, right here would be better, but should be able to take out that M48 or, well, you know, did a lot of damage to it. Now, this 105, I, I don't think I noticed this, or 155 hitting me the entire game, and holy cow. Oh, no, maybe I did because I'm leaving the district. That thing was just devastating, absolutely devastating throughout the entire game. Artillery is one of those things where when used right, it's devastating. When not used right, it's kind of mediocre at best. And I'm very much mediocre with my artillery. But as far as Warno content moving forward, um, this is the last learning versus AI battle that I'm going to do. And all the rest of the battles moving forward will be multiplayer games or they'll be the operations in Army General. However... Army General multiplayer sounds fun. God, this, what, these artillery pieces just ripping apart my ATGMs, which is really, really bad because they're sort of my... They, they are how I'm taking out the enemy. Although, if they don't have ammunition, they're kind of useless. But yeah, those, those artillery pieces absolutely devastating me. I need to get that Igla back in there. Did I lose the other Conkers? Looks like I lost the other Conkers, which is really unfortunate. That's a lot of expensive units getting just decimated by these 155s. So I like that by the a AI, although they are spamming the crap out of them. There's two 155s there. There's a, that's a one oh oh no, that's a 203. It's okay. Yeah, absolutely nasty. But with all that spent in artillery, in theory, should be doing pretty well on the ground. Have these BMP-1s in the tree line. Should be able to take out anything moving down this road, which they do. MI-24 moving up again, but these Flieger Fausts are absolutely going to decimate it. Other news on the content end. I reached out to SDL League because I joined his server and he was very nice in talking to me. And on one of his videos, he said... You know, if people want to cast videos of his Warno League, that just reach out to him and sort of set that up. So I I figured, you know, I'm not very good at the game and I have a lot to learn, but they have multiple divisions in SD League. One being the highest, four being the lowest, and four is like players like myself or maybe a little bit better than myself, or a lot better than myself, maybe. I figured, uh, nobody really casts the Division 4 games. They all cast the Division 1 and 2 games, because those are, theoretically, the better players of everything. So, I asked him, well, that was, that was pretty nice, but it didn't kill my T-80, which is amazing. Really need to hotkey the T-80s, get that smoke out when those anti-tank aircraft come in, get them out of sight. I mean, that smoke is way, way too late. Well, maybe not, because there was an HEM flying its way. But yeah, S SD League said I could cast some, and I offered to cast the Division 4 games, and apparently there was a cool little tiebreaker game for 8th place, so... I've downloaded that replay and that's something I want to, you know, take a stab at is trying to cast those. This, uh, this is in such good position to absolutely wreck these M48s. It must have good, good stealth because the M48s didn't fire back at it. And just absolutely devastating fire there. EMP1 is not in the greatest position and it should go down. Yep. Kind of, I'm, I'm pretty light on defenses, to be honest. Pretty light, but we just have really good kill zones between T-80s, ATGMs, this. 
this 155. I'm gonna have to look at the kills at the end. Uh, how many is killed? So far, I think that's like two conquers. That was pretty bad over there. I was trying to get them into the tree line here to hide, but a little unsuccessful. But you can see we have such a commanding lead because we've taken uh, Alpha X-Ray, Oscar, and was a Zulu, and the AI has only taken three uh, or two. Two. So I'm not sure which one I believe they're supposed to take Oscar, but I, I rushed that, so probably good. I figured it's easier to defend like this than defend like so. Move troops up on that line. So that was that was the thought process, and this center position just looked really juicy. If I could get troops up over here, that'd be great too. Looks like I've lost my jet. Yeah, I, um, let me know what you guys think about learning to cast Division 4 games. Uh, I, I think it would be really cool because those guys never get cast. Or I should say they hardly ever get cast because everybody casts the, the big top tier names and uh, I think it would be a cool little niche to do the Division 4, maybe jump up into the Division 3, cast a bunch of those and see how other people are playing. Uh, I, I will be doing the replays of my own multiplayer battles and there was a really good one that was uh, Koch and I versus Elric and uh, Thoughtful Frag and we just had a you know a fun fun casual 2v2 I just played a 1v1 against Spax and that was an absolute ton of fun I ended in a draw but in all fairness he absolutely beat me I just took zones faster and gained a ton of points and he uh, was a little late on pushing me out of those points so it took a really long time for him to catch up and by the time the game was over um, we were within what like the hundred points. This, this, these artillery pieces. Holy moly, absolutely wrecking me this battle. This is where counter battery would be good. Set up. Set up some artillery over there, put them on counter battery fire, and take out the all these artillery pieces. Because they are problematic. My defense is holding really well except for artillery. And I've noticed that in multiplayer games that I've been playing, is that my attacks and advances, I feel like they're getting a lot better. But I'm getting absolutely wrecked by good players with artillery. We played a 3v3 on the new railway map. By the way, this is old old patch, not new patch. So the 5th Panzer is not, you know, nerfed yet. And I feel like the Soviets got a pretty decent buff in the new patch. But we played on that new map rail, railway 3v3. We won one convincingly and then another. We played against a guy that was ranked... I, I don't know, 80, 60, something like that. And he had more kills than his two other allies combined. And it felt like any time I was going to do something, he annihilated me. Yeah, so like this, this, this 155 just annihilating me. Absolutely devastating. Um, yeah. And really, that 155 isn't in a good position, so if I could have snuck like a recon unit through the, through the trees, even... Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see. Could have got something up there and probably taken it. Lots of Fliegerfaust over here. I mean, this is... We could have pushed further. And really, at this point, we need to you know, get into the edge of the town, get into these trees and create a better defensive line that way. Layered defense. Probably one of the things that I do not very well is my defense is not correctly layered. And like all of this is good at covering each other. Still shooting where you thought my Strela is, which is good. I hear aircraft, or I thought I heard an aircraft, but I don't see it, so not sure what that noise was. Yeah. I have to say I'm still absolutely loving this game. Just all the assets. 
absolutely beautiful. Not sure what he's doing with the M4. Here comes an SU-27, and looks like I'm just flying it, uh, doing preliminary flying. Let's see, can I see? Okay, well, you put that on neutral and it tell you get all the voice commands. I still have to learn a couple things about casting all the little cheats. I don't know exactly how to see where things are... Like, where things are path, where they're going. And it's something I wish I could figure out because... When I watch people like Hippie, um, you can see exactly where things are path. And it's, uh, you know, a, a very nice feature of the game. Sorry if I was kind of stuttering on what I was trying to say there. I was trying to look for the thing while casting. Anyways, this battle will be pretty quick. Just figured I'd show off learning how to properly you know, push upon the enemy because that was something I was struggling with before it would be like I would take these, these three, and then it would be a stalemate and I'd struggle, but instead I went pretty hard to go take Oscar from the enemy so that I'd put the pressure on them to be aggressive and I can basically just sit back, create a fortress, and repel any attacks while also getting obliterated by 155s. Yeah, I was about to say, if that M48 makes it across the open, looks like I don't have... Oh, that's just a BTR-60. I don't have any ATGMs over here, which is bad. And then, is that enemy smoke that they're firing? Not sure, but we need to get those guys moving. We need some cover in the middle. MP1, ATGM, boom! These guys out in the open. It's not looking good for them. Oh! What a sight to be seen. I love, I love zooming in on this game. One thing I might do in the future is try and make a video that's like very cinematic. Uh, so you can get rid of get rid of the HUD and just sort of zoom in on the battlefield and you know see all the cool stuff that's going on in the air. I guess a nice air battle going on over there, except it's not nice if you're a Soviet because it's getting absolutely <laughs> wrecked in the air, which is why I generally go a little heavy on air assets, because I always feel like I get destroyed in this, but this game is, for all intents and purposes, over. Enemy has wasted most of their push, and doesn't look like they're going to be able to push me in time. If you look at the things they have, I mean, they must be really low on vehicles at this point because I have destroyed a plethora of M48s and, and yeah, they're sending their anti-aircraft assets up. I mean, that could do work if it was, you know, moving up over here so it could hit my T80s, but was it going to shoot a BTR-60? Okay. It's not a, not a big deal. I mean, this thing is going to knock it out. Or not. Because that shot the M48 over there. And dead. Whoops! Fired at the wrong target. Oh, it's just a little jeep. Way cool. Get a, get a nice view. That thing. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely love. Love just watching the battle unfold for sure. And then as I said in many videos previously, this is just really nice way of getting back into recording videos. 
because recording these Warno videos is really fast. They don't require a lot of editing, and I know exactly how long they're going to be. You can see here this says 36 minutes, but this video is like 20 minutes because I was spending 16 minutes figuring out what I was going to do uh, at, at, in the deployment phase. And probably my cat distracted me, and I might have also been eating too, so that's one of my favorite things about, you know, the Warplay, Warno replay system is that I can just, you know, take it, take it easy. Gosh, what a waste. Not sure what I was doing over there, but it doesn't matter because victory! So yeah, I, I think learning a lot more on how to push the enemy. A very hard AI, 2 to 1 kill ratio basically over there. Kills and losses, you can see. Uh, I'm, I really like my ATGMs. I like them a lot, whether it's on a BMP1, on a Conkers, on the Sturm. Really, really like all of that. However, I do like my tanks too. The tanks do pretty great, especially when you're fighting M48s. A T80 BV is uh, absolutely going to win that battle, and you can see when it did. Absolutely devastating them. But I want to look at, yeah, so this 155, two conquers. Devastating. Where's the other 155? Conquers. That's three conquers from 155s. Another conquers destroyed by that uh, 203, and a supply truck destroyed by the 203, and did he? that might be it might be so early on air duel that makes sense uh, mig actually got the falsham jaeger early which is not mig uh, hind got it early and pretty good amx 10 i like those things a lot bunkers doing work so you can see pretty one-sided right there that must have been a tank push on his end that is that's is a devastating amount of assets to lose in what is that 1732 starts at 1601 so a minute and a half that is a lot i mean that has to be over a thousand points right of assets that's one thing i need to get better at is learning the different point values Comes with time, comes with time for sure. I don't know the decks inside and out at all. Can't click profile, but would be. So that is it for today's episode. Nice short one for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. If you want to play Warno with me, please uh, join my Discord. Link is in the description below, and I'm more than willing to play games when I have the spare time, and hopefully. People join the Discord and can find games to play versus uh, other cool people because if you subscribe to, to my channel, you're clearly a cool person. That is it. As always, guys, until next time.